Today, we're going to be looking at some Minecraft mods that, in my opinion, would make a pretty great addition to the game. And in the past, we've seen Minecraft at the very least take inspiration from mods. For example, the horses from Mo Creatures were essentially added to Minecraft, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at. And no, I don't think Minecraft should literally just lift these mods off CurseForge and inject them into the game, but at the very least, it could benefit from adding pretty much any of these features. So anyway, let's get into it. All right, to start things off, we have the Double Slabs mod, and this mod's three features pretty much should just all be in Minecraft. Minecraft. The first of which allows you to place two different slab types together. The second actually allows you to break half of a slab. This in particular in vanilla Minecraft really annoys me. And the third allows you to place vertical slabs, which I'm pretty sure the community has been asking for since the dawn of time. Overall, this mod just enhances slabs considerably, and I think it would be a great addition to the game. Next, we have the friends and foes mod, and this mod just adds a bunch of the creatures or things that were going to be added to the game, but were simply outvoted. And this is a pretty easy one because it's literally just stuff Mojang's already made. And I think this one's actually pretty likely to happen in the future, but you know, it's still worth mentioning. After that, we have Spiders 2.0, and I honestly think this is still one of my favorite Minecraft mods, just because it makes spiders so much more interesting and scary. Spiders 2.0 just makes spiders far more unique, because they can walk on any surface, instantaneously making them a far more dangerous enemy. And I think this is just a great way to make spiders more interesting, because in vanilla Minecraft, they're just not really a difficult enemy, and there's nothing all that special about them, and this particular feature could fix that. Now, would Mojang make changes to a creature that's been in the game since pretty much the beginning? I'm not sure, but hey, I'd be up for it. The next feature I think would be pretty cool to see in Minecraft would be something similar to the Distant Horizons mod. And this mod adds LODs to the game, which allow you to see much farther away than your render distance is set to, at a fraction of the performance that it would normally take. And most games take advantage of this feature because you can't really see the detail drop unless you really pay attention. And as you can see with this mod, it works quite well in Minecraft. Next up, we have not enough animations, and this mod adds a lot of animations to third person because because third person in Minecraft is kind of ignored. I mean, you could probably count the amount of players that play in third person in Minecraft on your fingers, because it just isn't that good. Many of the animations that are normally only visible in first person are now visible in third, and it also adds some new animations. And I would love to see Mojang try and make third person a little bit better, and Minecraft will probably always be a first person game, it's just how it is. But right now, pretty much the only reason you're even gonna go into third person is if you're riding something, or to make sure no one's chasing you or something. The next feature, if you could even call it that, that I'd like to see added to Minecraft is something like Sodium or Optifine or just generally something that increases the performance. And the current performance isn't particularly bad, but these mods just prove that it can be a lot better. I mean, for me, Sodium literally doubles my FPS, which is pretty insane. If a mod can make it happen, there's no reason that it can't happen in the base game. Next, we have World Edit, which significantly improves building in Minecraft. With World Edit installed, you can make changes in Minecraft that would normally take hours in literally like a couple seconds. It just has so many commands and features that makes large-scale building that much easier. And Vanilla Minecraft has at least a few of these commands now, but nothing nearly as extensive as this. So I do think most builders would definitely appreciate something like this, although generally mods like World Edit do update pretty quickly, so you shouldn't have to spend very much time without it. Now, the next feature I would love to see added to Minecraft is a little bit more variety when it comes to the randomly generated structures. For this example, we'll use Mineshafts. The mod Young's Better Mineshafts overall significantly improves them while keeping them in a style that could absolutely still be in vanilla. There's a lot more variety when it comes to what blocks are used in them, and sometimes they can be a bit bigger, and you'll even notice most of the mineshafts have a surface entrance. It's things like this that just make them a little more interesting to explore rather than just looking the exact same wherever you go, so I think just adding some more variety to the randomly generated structures like mineshafts and strongholds would generally be very well received. One of the last features I would absolutely love to see added to Minecraft is unique items for unique locations. For example, you go to a desert temple, and in the chests is something that you'll only find in desert temples. And we do see this in vanilla Minecraft in some structures, for example, buried treasure, but for the most part, all chests are generally just gonna have the same randomly generated loot. And a really cool mod that does add this is Spellbound Weapons, which adds quite a few unique and interesting weapons to the game, and a fair amount of them, again, you can only find in specific locations. And I think this just really incentivizes exploring your world, because right now there's really 
no reason to go hunt down a desert pyramid or a jungle temple. It's just gonna have the same loot that you'll find right beneath you in a mineshaft or something. And finally, the last feature we'll be talking about today that I would love to see added to Minecraft comes from the auditory mod. Among this mod's many sound-related features, it makes it so when you place and break blocks, a fair amount of them will have unique sounds. And this is something that's actually been added to some of the newer blocks in the game. For example, copper or the new blocks added from the nether update have these new sounds. And I very much enjoy this, but at the same time, most of the blocks that are kind of older just all sound the same, or at least very similar when you break them. So you kind of have this contradiction where most blocks just kind of sound the same, and then there's these few individual blocks which have their own unique, really cool breaking and placing sounds. And the auditory mod fixes this for a pretty solid amount of the blocks in the game, and I would just love something like this being added to Minecraft. And anyway, that'll do it for this video. Let me know if you think I'm crazy for wanting any of these features added, or if you agree with me, or if there's any other features you would personally like to see. And for the most part, I'm not focusing on anything particularly massive, not like a new dungeon or something. These are just changes that I could easily see in the game that would really do nothing but enhance it. And anyway, if you'd like to download any of the mods, you can find them all in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.